Welcome back to We Are Austin. Many women suffer from uterine fibroids but are hesitant to have surgery. Dr. Connie Sue with ARA Diagnostic Imaging is here to share some alternative options to help you feel better. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. So let's break down some of these terms. What is a fibroid exactly? So a fibroid is a growth from the muscle cells in the uterus. Mm -hmm. And actually fibroids are not cancer. Okay. Okay. And um, they're benign growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with um, time, they do get big, mm -hmm. which is why 20 to 40 percent of women before the age of 50 develop symptoms. Oh, wow. So yeah. what are some of those symptoms? So those symptoms include heavy menstrual bleeding, mm -hmm. um, pelvic pain, particularly during menses, what we call dysmenorrhea. Mm -hmm. um, they can also cause bulk symptoms of the pelvis feeling full and bloated. Mm -hmm. um, some patients may have urinary frequency or constipation with that. Yeah, so just discomfort in your general life that you would yes. like to address. Yes. So are there treatment options? Yes, yeah. so first of all, you know, there's first line is medical, mm -hmm. but that is like hormonal suppression drug therapy. Mm -hmm. The other options are surgical, which include myomectomy and hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. And then also there's non-surgical, which is uterine fibroid embolization. And so that's what we're looking at right here, right? Exactly. So what is that? So, um, you know, that is basically a minimal invasive procedure mm -hmm. where there's a board certified interventional radiology doctor that goes in with a small little nick through the wrist or the groin, navigates into the artery and goes into the uterus and then we deliver FDA approved particles that will block the blood supply to the fibroids mm -hmm. and with time shrink the fibroids or make them disappear altogether. Wow, so that's yeah. really impressive. Yeah, and actually, you know, greater than 50% of women don't realize that they might have a non-surgical option for them. Yeah, no kidding. So yeah. can you go more in depth on that process and what that recovery time looks like? Of course. So one of the benefits of uterine fibroid embolization is that the recovery time is short. It's mm -hmm. about a week. Oh, wow. Compared to six weeks with a hysterectomy or a myomectomy. Yeah. And, you know, minimal complication risk, so no bleeding, um, no risk of injury to the bladder or ureter, mm -hmm. like with surgical options. Yeah. And also you keep your uterus. Mm -hmm. So in fact, research has shown that, you know, majority of women that chose a non-surgical option actually have improved sexual function mm -hmm. and actually higher quality of life. Wow, so it's a really good option for a lot of people across the board, it sounds yeah, like. It is. What are some other important things to know if you're thinking about this? So know that this is a procedure that has been around for greater than 20 years. Oh, okay. And it's a proven safe effective treatment mm -hmm. for fibroids. And it's just that most women don't realize that that's a potential option. Yeah. And the success rate is 88 to 92 percent. Oh, so some really high numbers. Yeah. So if you have like heavy menstrual bleeding that's causing anemia, mm -hmm. then, you know, greater than 90 percent of these women will have um, improvement in their symptoms by three months. Wow. Um, and then greater than 70 percent when we're talking about bulk symptoms like urinary frequency, yeah. fullness, bloating, things it's like so that. It's so good to hear. It really can change your quality of life. It can. And that's kind of why we're here. Yeah, so if someone's looking to learn more or wants to have a conversation about those options, what's the best way to do that? So the best way is to reach out to the interventional clinic Okay. and our coroners will get on the phone with you, talk to you about treatment, and then um, schedule you for an MRI, which, um, you know, then you have a consultation or a doctor's visit with one of our interventional radiology doctors, and we go over the imaging with you to see if you're a candidate. Yeah. Dr. Sue, thanks for being here. I always enjoy learning from you. There's so much good <laughs> info, and you're really helping improve the quality of people's lives well, out there, so thank you so much. Me. So we can put that info on the screen about how you can find ARA. There's lots of locations all over Central Texas to meet the needs of people across Austin. Thank you. Thank you. And